A bird just flew into my window. <laughs> what is going on today? Hey guys, I'm Ola Red, and welcome to this week's video. The other day, Dane was looking at Reddit on a thread called food porn, but for the sake of this video, we'll call it crappy food porn. And he came across this photo of basically like a bunk cake made out of mac and cheese, flaming hot Cheetos, and queso. And I thought, you know, that would be a really interesting, weird food video to make to see if all of those things combined would be really good. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to be making this mac and cheese flaming hot Cheeto queso bump cake. Just so you know, there is no recipe attached to this, but I will try to link the photo down below for you. I don't know if I'll be able to find it again, but we'll see. So I have prepared basically nothing for this video. I didn't get out the mac and cheese. I didn't get out anything. So let me get out all of that stuff really quick. <laughs> It was a very large bunk cake. I decided I was just gonna get mini bunk cakes. So that is what I'm going to do. That way it's like party size. And if it really does turn out to be good, then I have a few of them that I could last for a few days. I get if you have the big one, you could just cut slices. But this way you can have one all in one sitting and then not feel bad about it. So we will go ahead and get started. Basically what I'm going to do is start boiling the water for the mac and cheese and then make the crust for like the bunt cake, I think. This sounds so weird. Out of the flaming hot Cheetos and I also need to start the oven so I can melt the butter. Okay, we're, we're just gonna go for this. Since there was no recipe, or wasn't, since there wasn't a recipe, I am just going in on what feels right. So I don't know how much butter I need to make this crust. I'm thinking it's kind of like, like a cheesecake crust where you need the butter in order to make it like congealed and cooked. So we're gonna maybe use like half this stick and melt it. And I'm gonna put that butter in the oven so it can get melted. In case you didn't know, I like melting butter in the oven because every time I try to do it in the microwave, it always explodes. And I don't feel like cleaning my microwave today. So it's going in the butter in the oven. I can't talk today, clearly. So we're just gonna go on with this video. If I say weird things that make no sense, go with it. All right, we've got water boiling-ish, getting warm, it's not boiling yet. We've got butter in the oven, and now we've got to make like the granules out of our flaming hot Cheetos. So I'm gonna use my food processor to get them all ground up. So interesting fact about me is I've actually never eaten flaming Hot Cheetos. I think it's because as a child, I really didn't like spicy things, but you know, it is what it is. And we're gonna try this today. I already did a whole spicy challenge if you haven't seen that. I tried all of the Hot Ones hot sauces, so you should check that video out. I've never had one of these, so I'm going to try it right now. That's okay. It's not even like a Cheeto. All right, so I think that is enough to make. A bird just flew into my window. <laughs> what is going on today? You know what, we're just gonna do the whole bag. So now we're going to crush. All right, I think that is good for now. So we'll put that to the side. Nice and ground up. It's beautiful, perfect. Everything I would want out of a flaming hot Cheeto mac and cheese queso dripped bun cake. I'm really wondering if it's gonna be good. Let me know down in the comments if you think it will. 
I mean, all of them are good things. Mac and cheese, can't go wrong. Queso, can't go wrong. If you're into flaming hot Cheetos, can't go wrong. I just have no idea if this will be good or not. Generally, when I go into these, I'm thinking it, it could be kind of good, but I just, I really don't know on this one. Water's getting to a good spot, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the noodles. I think if this does turn out to be really good, then it'll be like a fun, quick, at-home snack because everybody should have mac and cheese on hand. Everybody should have ingredients for queso. I mean, if you want to do like jalapeno kettle chips, which would be probably really good instead of Flaming Hot Cheetos, then you're good because you should always have jalapeno kettle chips on hand. I don't know how many those can make. Because basically, I have to put it around it and then I have to top it with this stuff. So I need to remember to keep some of it. So the butter is not melted yet. I am going to put this to the side and check on my mac and cheese to see if the noodles are done. I really hate overcooked noodles. I also hate undercooked noodles, so they need to be in that like, right sweet spot. They are still hard, so I'm kind of in this weird limbo situation. I don't want to make the Velveeta until I put these in the oven to kind of like congeal. And so, how are y'all doing today? How are y'all surviving the pandemic and like, you know, the whole world and everything? I'm doing pretty good. I've been watching lots of movies, watching lots of TV shows. HBO Max has like all of the Bachelor and Bachelorette seasons. Actually, they don't, they have like four of each. So next with me, hopefully the butter's done. Hopefully the noodles are ready. Noodles are ready, guys. Let me strain them and then I will show you my magic way to make mac and cheese. I don't follow the box and that is the secret. Never follow the box, the box is wrong. What I will do for the purpose of this experiment is I will just mix it over here so that way you can see what I do. So I'll pour in just like the cheese packet. Look at that nice orange powder. It's like neon orange. That's how you know it's good mac and cheese. And then you add just like, I don't know, a block of butter, whatever feels right to you. Just put it in there. And then heavy cream instead of milk. And so I don't measure any of this. I just kind of wing it. I do like a one dollar and then a two and then mix and see from there. All right, it is almost all together. The butter is almost finished melting in there. So I'm gonna leave this on the stove just so that way it can stay warm. And then we are going to hope and pray that this butter is finally melted. Who knew it would take so long? All right, butter's melted finally. We're gonna pour it in here. I'm convinced it's not going to be enough butter. Now I'm going to mix this. And so now I'm just going to stuff it in there and then just kind of like... Make a bowl. Sure, that looks right. For right now, we've got six, and then I'm gonna have to fill them up with the mac and cheese and then go from there. I don't really know how much to go in, so we're just gonna kind of like put it in there and see how it, how it fits. And then the rest of this I'm gonna eat for lunch because I am a 27 year, almost 28 year old adult, and I can eat whatever I want for lunch. <laughs> So now that they're in there, I have to smush some more of my Flaming Hot Cheeto crust on top of it. While wow, y'all are just watching me, you know, kind of fix these little bunt cakes. Have you seen any, you know, weird foods that you want me to try in the future? You know what would be really good? Like an addition is to add some extra like cheddar cheese 
or um, Monterey Jack or something in with the noodles. So whenever I throw them in the oven to kind of congeal, the shredded cheese or whatever cheese you want to use helps like bring everything together. Okay, I'm gonna go in the oven for a little bit to see if they can become one with each other. So let's just see, and then I will make the queso. So queso is one of like the easiest things to make ever. I just got like a little thing. This one's like the original, but I normally get the hot. Rotel, I need a bowl to put this in. And what you do is you get this thing of fake cheese, Velveeta, and you open it up. And then you're gonna cut it into little cubes. And so now we have cut up all of our cheese. We're gonna open our Rotel. Generally, I pour out a little bit of the sauce, with the juice, because you don't need it all. And then you just kind of put some of it on there. Oh, that's too much. Whatever. Too late now. And then you'll put some milk in it. Again, no measurements here. It's gonna go in the microwave for about like, I don't know, two minutes, and then we'll stir it and then continue the process from there. It's gonna come out looking kind of weird, but you're gonna stir it and it's gonna be okay. to do while making this definitely but you know like it's just like a lot of little things maybe i could have timed it out better honestly my bad but it's okay we're almost done we almost got the queso finished i believe those are finished they're just i don't know what they're doing in there i just felt like it'd be good to put them in the oven and then we're gonna try this sucker queso now let's get the bump cakes. Well, they've done something. I'm not quite sure. Nope, they haven't like congealed, but we're gonna try this anyway. Okay, okay. <laughs> not beautiful, not great. It kind of fell apart, but we get the gist, right? Like, let's like add some more of this to it. And then I'm just gonna drizzle some queso on top of it. You know, mine doesn't look nearly as good as the photo but it will get the same effect. How did I do? Now I need a fork, and so I am going to try this bad boy now. I don't know what this is gonna be like. I'm kind of nervous to try it, just cause I don't know. I mean, I love mac and cheese, I love queso. Two things that I love almost most in this entire world. So, cheers friends. You know, that isn't half bad. I don't know if it's the spicy from either the queso or the Flaming Hot Cheetos, but it's like nice and there's like a nice crunch. I am into it. Wow. All right guys, well, this has been fine. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below if you wanna see more weird food experiments like this one. Also don't forget to click that like button or let me know down in the comments what you think I should try next, whether it be like a meatloaf jello or some more things from crappy food porn. I will see you all next time. Bye.